This is the exercise or the little painting that I'm going to do to test out the Shinhan watercolors that I got the other day. I actually did a post about them before this and tested the colors and did stuff like that. I'll put a link below if you'd like to watch it. So we're going to use the Shinhan. This is the main color A set and it is permanent red, permanent yellow light, viridian hue, cobalt blue, permanent violet, and burnt sienna. So I also got a little travel journal that I've been wanting and I was going to actually test this out too, but I, I just don't, I'm, I'm not ready to use it yet. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to use it for and I'd like to dedicate it to one thing. So I'm going to wait. I don't want to put something in it that I don't want in there. I know that's silly, but that's the way I am. So we'll set that aside for now. I will review that at a different time. All right, so I'm going to do a, a little chickadee and I have it on my paper. I'm going to actually do an ink and wash. So I'm just going to, and I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch the whole thing. So I'm just going to ink out the little bird and the little branch that he's on. This is a Faber-Castell pit pen and this is a fine. I think it's a 0.05 I believe is their fine. So I'm just going to draw. <laughs> These are so cute. In fact, my cat Theo is the tabby. He's got a little bit of Maine Coon in him. Um, he was up in the window this morning watching the little chickadees. And he would sit and watch those all day. He's an indoor cat, so he doesn't get to go out and chase them, which I wouldn't want him to do anyway. I love the little birdies. They make me so happy. And this morning, I actually heard the birds singing this morning for the first time. So spring is on its way. All right, so I'm going to let the ink dry and then I'm going to erase that just gently. And I just use a kneaded eraser. Use a little piece, soften it up. These are wonderful. They pick up the graphite without ruining your paper. This is just gonna be a quick little sketch. I just kind of want to test out the colors a little. See how it reacts when I'm actually painting something rather than just playing. I want to be able to get lots of blue for the background, but this does have a nice quality to it. And I'm just going to start up at the top and I just want to get a good bead of water. I'm gonna see how I'm going right over my branch. And this is a squirrel brush, so you've got to be careful because it if it does not have enough stuff on it, it will get thirsty and it will suck up your paint and your water right off of your paper. Like, see, right there. All right, I'm just going to add a little water there. All right, now just grab a little of that water. All right, so let's just dry that. There's something about pen and ink and watercolor wash that I just love. Um, I'm not sure what it is. I have from day one, I've always loved it. In fact, I go through little spurts where I'll actually do pen and ink and watercolor for a while and then I won't. I'll just do normal watercolor or I'll move on to oil or something like that. I will get a black out of my red. I do not like it when the paints are moist. I just couldn't wait. <laughs> I couldn't wait for them to dry. I get excited. It's funny because I'm really, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. I want all you guilty people to fess up. I am like a kid at Christmas when I get new art supplies. I can't wait to open them. I can't wait to touch them. I can't wait to look at them. And then I can't wait to use them. So, yeah. <laughs> I know I can't be the only one. A little more green. Oh yeah, we're getting there. All right, I'm just gonna test that out. Oh, that's a nice black. 
I'm just going to start and put in some of the black details. A nice little soft table to put that on. The little rickety sound is can be a little annoying. I actually like this paint. I do find that it actually travels fast. It is very active in water. A lot of times with my other paints I can smooth things out and with water and it won't travel fast and create that hard edge. So that's okay because I'm just going to go back in and just soften it. That's all. Just going to put a little water on it. And I'll a little bit of hard edge doesn't bother me anyway. I think that's quite cute. So we're going to leave that as it is. I'm just going to fill in that one little spot. Poor little guy. I missed. There. Now he doesn't have a big white spot under his belly. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, here's my favorite part. Actually, I'm going to dry it first. So I, I like them. I like the Shinhan watercolors. Now, I'm going to have to probably play around with them some more. I'm going to, uh, you know, maybe paint something a little bigger. Maybe try some flat washes, some graded washes, stuff like that. So here's my favorite part. This is always so satisfying, peeling the tape off. I don't know about you, but this... <laughs> It doesn't matter what I'm painting, I can't wait to peel the tape off. All right, and that was just a little piece of plastic core that I had left over that I used for small ones. Okay, so there's something about mini art. I just love mini art. I think this is actually three and a quarter by three and a quarter and around there somewhere.
there. That's a little chickadee with the Shinhan watercolors. All done. I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon.